Okay, if you're multiplying two binomials, what is the process that called when you multiply them out? What process would you use, Foil. Nick? Foil. Yeah, you foil this, right? So you take your first, then you take your outers, then you take your inners, and then you take your last. So you get this foil process. Foiling is just the distributive property. So again, in any class, if you take a math class, they do not allow you to use calculators. All you do here is you distribute. Okay? Distribute your first term. There's your first, there's your outer, there's your inner, there's your last. It's the exact process of distributive property. And that's all you'd use when you multiply um, by no, or polynomials with more than just the two terms as well. So you could take like an x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 2, let's say. If you're doing it by hand, you just distribute your x, then distribute through your negative 3. Again, if you are setting this up by hand, what I would do is I'd stack like terms vertically just to make it easier to combine them. So as you distribute your x, you get an x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x. And then as you move to your second term, minus 3x squared. Again, I'm stacking it vertically under the like terms. Minus 9x minus 6. And then just combine down your columns. The x squareds cancel. And so you wind up with your polynomial form. Once again, easiest thing to do here is understand when you multiply, you are going to expand. So you can use the expand command, type in your factors, x minus 3 times, in this case, x squared plus 3x plus 2. Close off your whole expansion. And then, again, it confirms x cubed minus 7x minus 6 is the correct answer for that expansion.